Sergey Emelain, the reigning world and European title holder from a year ago. Here's Victor Chibanyu, Moldova. He was the world runner-up last year. One of two rematches from the world finals in 2018. Wrestling fans get an early treat here in the month of April. Emeline of Russia comes out in the blue. Chibanyu of Moldova in the red. And here we go. Will Chibanyu be able to turn around his fortunes from Budapest? What adjustments will he make? What did he take away from that world championship setback against Emeline? In that world finals, he came out firing, nearly picked up what would have been a four point throw, but Emeline kept his heels on that out of bounds line and threw Chibanyu for four. And then it was all downhill from there as Emelin went on to win that match 10 to one. And how about we go by the numbers for Sergey Emelin in his run to the last year's European and world title and taking into account this year's run. So through this tournament already, he's outscored his opponents 33 to nothing. In his previous 13 matches, 109 to six in route to his continental and world title. And now here again has been absolutely dominant and not allowing a single point in a crowded field at 60. That's how tough he is to score on, but that just changed by Moldova as Shibanyu gets the four and now all of a sudden the world champion in a position that he's not accustomed to. That is only the second time that he's given up points since Dagestan, well, at least in a world or European championship. Wow. And I'm sure he didn't think it was gonna be easy to win another European title. And these are the things you have to fight through. It's gonna be adversity. There's no continental title that you're gonna win easy. So for him to fight back, you're gonna learn a lot about Sergey Emelin right here. Chibanyu had such a tough Europeans last year. Bounce back with the strong world championships and has looked good so far this week in Bucharest. He's jumped out to a four nothing lead on a five second spurt where he was able to get the world champion exposed. Referee will stop it, okay. warn the Moldova wrestler about those hands going up around the throat. Oh, and they give Russia a point. Let's see if that gets white paddled. I saw the one, I did not see the near side. Looks like both of them, so no point. Yeah, that would have been tough in that situation. Come on, four nothing. Shibanyu with the lead. Emelin six to the side, still has control of that front position. Looked like he was gonna try to maybe do a pass by on that right side, but then he put on the brakes, went back, reestablished. Won't have a lot of time in this period, just seven to go. And the two go into the center, and Sergey Emeline in some trouble down four nothing for the Russian Federation. Adversity, Bucharest, you won't see him panic, that's for sure. But it'll be interesting to see what he can pull up and come out in these next three minutes to try to defend his title. Here it was. Looked like it was Emeline who wanted to get the throw, he initiated it. Nice counter by Chibanyu. And without a doubt, a four pointer. And he just caught Emelin on his heels. Perfect timing and for Emelin just off balance for one second. That's all Chibanu needed. Should be an exciting second period, don't you say? Absolutely. Sergey Emelin charges toward the outside and he's back in it. He gets the two, immediately hooks up that gut wrench, but getting out of bounds was Chibanu. 
So Emmeling comes right at him, gets the two, not even 15 seconds into the second period, and now a 4-2 match. Shabanyu working on the right arm of the Russian, driving him back toward that center circle, trying to reestablish his position in the mat. I mean, Emmeline to start backing up a little bit. Emmeline stubborn to leave that center circle. Shibanyu continues to drive in. How long until they hit Shibanyu? Well, your question just got answered. Wow. Center. They go two. So the caution in two. Challenge. And they're going to challenge it. So he's worn there to keep his head up. Center. I don't know, Eric. I don't see that head a second time after the warning going in. I would suggest washing the caution in two away. Let these guys wrestle. This is a great match. No need to interject yourself from a referee standpoint. No need to do it. Take the two away. Chubanu up four to two. I think they're just going to change this to a one. We're about to find out. It gets white paddled. Fans here in Bucharest approve. Challenge will be kept for Moldova to use a little bit later on. And that's good to see. You don't want to see a referee decide a match. And Chubanu has came out here and has executed his game plan perfectly, capitalized on the one opportunity he had. And now what you have to do is allow Emelin an opportunity to recapitalize on his opportunity. And there is passivity on Chibanyu, and it gets a little bit tighter, 4-3. And Chibanyu comes underneath, and he is really upset with this referee. First, the ref hit him with that leading with the head. It gets white paddled, and then not even 20 seconds later, he comes in with a passivity. And now, Emmeline, who's trailed from the get-go, a chance to grab his first lead. Trying to trap that arm, but Chibanyu gets both arms free. Emmeline working around the waist, squeezing tight. Crowd getting antsy. They want a stoppage. Emmeline driving, building a little momentum as they go toward the edge. But he can't. Oh, he did. He got enough of it to get two and a 5-4 lead. Boy, he used every amount of real estate, and he was barely able to crank the Moldovian wrestler over. Back and forth battle here, but Emelin continued to run those feet. Picked up the turn, just had enough real estate to turn the Moldovan wrestler. Has the arm of the world champion, but now Shibanyu trails a point. Looking for a step out, close near the edge. One last shove. Emmeline able to stay in and circle back around, and the referee stops it. Going to warn him for circling around with 52 seconds to go. Inches away from the tie. And remember, the criteria would be with Chibanyu. He has the larger of the moves, that four-pointer in the first period. So all he needs is one, and it looks like he just got it to tie it up at five. And the criteria, as we describe, swings to Moldova. 30 seconds to go. Will there be a new European champion? Fingers. 
clock approaching 10 seconds. Sergey Ibeling working off that front side. Needs a little late magic in Bucharest. A new European champion from Moldova, Victor Chobanu. Talk about an talk about executing a game plan to perfection. So in our first title bout of the night, a reigning world champion goes down in a rematch. For